Hey y'all, I'm back in the kitchen today with another crock pot dump and go kind of recipe. We're gonna be making crock pot red beans and rice and this is everything that we're gonna need. So sliced pickled pork, smoked sausage or andouille, parsley, bay leaves, cayenne pepper, your red beans, which I'll explain in a few which one you need to use, Louisiana's Choice Creole Seasoning and our good old Tony's Creole Seasoning. So let's get started. All right, so as far as the red beans go, you have two different options. We can use red beans like this that's in a bag or we can use the Blue Runner canned red beans. I've used both, um, but this specific recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and use these beans. So whenever you're using red beans, you should always soak them the night before in water. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now. But also note, soaking your beans is not 100% necessary. It is more of a personal preference. I believe it just lessens the cooking time. And then they also say it makes beans easier to digest. All right, so it's now the next day. We've soaked our beans overnight. So now we're gonna go ahead and drain them and then rinse them real good. And now your last step before adding everything into the crock pot is to go ahead and slice your sausage. First, we're gonna add in the red beans and then we'll dump the sausage in. After that, we're gonna add in the pickled pork in which you do not need to slice beforehand because it's gonna shred on its own. And next, we're gonna add one tablespoon of our Tony seasoning and then a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And next we'll add about one and a half tablespoons of parsley. Then you're gonna add about two big spoonfuls of your Louisiana Creole seasoning. And then you'll add three bay leaves. After that, you're gonna add in your water. Right here, I poured a cup and a half of water, but after stirring, I did notice that it needed a little bit more. So I went in after that and added about one more cup of water. All right, so we're all done adding the ingredients. The last step is to set your crock pot on low and set it for eight hours. All right, so now that the beans are done cooking, I'm gonna take about one little small bowl full of the beans and I'm gonna mash them and then add them back into the crock pot and it just will help them overall be real creamy. Before I do that though, I'm gonna give everything a real good stir. Look at this pickled pork, it is so tender and I wish you guys could smell these beans, they smell so good. So once you're done mashing your beans, you're just gonna add them back into your crock pot, give everything another good stir, and that's it. I really hope you guys enjoy this recipe, and I really hope you try this recipe out. If you decide to, please let me know down in the comments. Let me know how it is. And also, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Bye.